Last part of this podcast, I want to quickly uh, go through um, my predictions one more time, which I've talked about earlier in uh, the second episode when I completely uh, went through the DC Phantom Hall of Heroes uh, schedule. Uh, before I go through the predictions real quick, uh, I want to quickly mention that WB did remove a mystery film uh, panel from that uh, slate the hall of heroes slate uh which is unfortunate um but also also uh kind of makes sense what if you predict that they could push that to september 12th to again make that part two um more more exciting and, and draw more people so they could be taking this time to make sure that whatever movie they want to announce uh is in fact the right movie to do um but again still unfortunate because i i want i want the movie news okay i i, I want it now <laughs> so uh, yeah i just want to quickly mention that so my excuse me my predictions for dc fandom uh i got five of them uh so i'll, I'll go through them one by one uh the first prediction is the snyder cut cast reunites um now, this is before Ben Affleck was uh, confirmed to be returning to the role in the Flash movie. I predicted that the Snyder Cut cast would reunite and show their support for Zack Snyder and this cut of the movie. But now that Ben Affleck is confirmed to return and Gal Gadot already being in attendance for Wonder Woman 84, uh, Jason Momoa for Aquaman, Ezra Miller for The Flash, and I can guarantee you uh, uh, Cyborg, uh, Ray Fisher... Um, will show up uh, if he got the call. I think this is a, a lock that the Snyder Cut cast will reunite uh, to present the first teaser trailer for the Snyder Cut. So that was the first one, uh, first prediction. Number two, Henry Cavill confirmed for Black Adam, announces Man of Steel 2. Now, announcing Man of Steel 2 uh, was one of the predictions for the mystery film panel. However, that was taken away, so I don't think we'll get that announcement. But Henry Cavill appearing in Black Adam seems very likely when you consider um, just how much Dwayne Johnson wants to fight. Uh, Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam character wants to fight Superman. How much uh, uh, Henry Cavill uh, loves the role of Superman and his recent uh, negotiations, according to Major Trades, to come back and portray Superman. I think that's a, a definite possibility. So that's my number two. Number three, Ben Affleck announces an HBO Max deal. Now, that surprise DC Comics panel um, is still slated for the Hall of Heroes uh, DC Phantom tomorrow, part one. So I think this is a lot more likely. I'll tell you why. Ben Affleck coming back to the flash role was a major step or coming back to the flash movie was a major step. Okay. He's back in the DCEU. There's no question about it. He is back in the DCEU for how long is more of a question. Now, Matt Reeves, his Batman movie um, is hitting the big screens. I don't think Warner brothers wants to have multiple Batman movies on the big screen, kind of maybe taken away from each other and possibly oversaturating um, that character's presence on the big screen. Again, I would love to see that, but I think, given you know how other uh, other franchises um, do movie after movie after movie with no uh, two year break, um, we've seen that not work in their favor. Most notably, uh, the Fast and Furious franchise, which I love. And also the um, Star Wars franchise, a franchise I'm also very passionate about. Um, so I don't think uh, having Ben Affleck do a Batman movie um, is likely. I think what's more likely is HBO Max uh, having him do his limited series uh, based off of his script. We're talking maybe six to eight episodes, six to eight hours of uh, a Batman story um revolved around his script so i think uh that's very much a possibility and there are also rumors that ben affleck 
is highly wanted by the people at HBO Max. They really want his character. I mean, talk about talk about a big draw for a streaming service. I mean, if the Snyder Cut is as much of a success as I think it'll be, they want more of that. And I think Ben Affleck doing uh, an HBO Max limited series makes more sense than doing a, a big screen movie, given Matt Reeves' franchise is just starting to kick off. So I think that's uh, very likely that Ben Affleck announces an HBO Max deal. Number four, David Ayer gets his uh, Suicide Squad air cut, including a crap ton of unused Jared Leto footage. Um, look, like I said, all bets are off with uh, the Snyder Cut happening, okay? Uh, everything is on the table, and I think this, the air cut of Suicide Squad is much easier to produce than the Snyder Cut because the footage is already shot. It's just a matter of changing the tone back to what air originally wanted, what his, what's more in line with his movies, David Ayer, and bringing to to life the real version of Jared Leto's Joker. Um, it's been well documented that Jared Leto's Joker got uh, the short end of the stick, the very short end, with a lot of his footage being cut. It's still on the floor. The footage still exists. It just has to be re-edited back into the movie. I think that costs a lot less than additional photography um, like the Justice League uh, Snyder Cut is doing. So I think the David Ayer cut is very much a possibility. Although if that if that DC Comics uh, surprise panel can only have one, I'd rather have the Ben Affleck HBO Max limited series. And I think that mystery film panel, uh, which could happen in part two of the DC fandom, um, on September 12th, uh, that could be the announcement of, of the air cut, or they might wait until the Snyder cuts released and see how that does because suicide squad is coming next year. And like I said, doing two films in one year could not work against them. So I think I kind of just talked myself out of that damn prediction. Damn it. All right. Number, uh, five. Now, this uh, this was just for fun. Uh, we know that a Batman game is coming, but I predicted that a Superman game would be announced. Um, initially, I said Superman hasn't had a game since the N64 days, but I was wrong. Superman had a game uh, in the mid 2000s He had two games in the mid-2000s, one with the Superman Returns, and then there was another one, one on Xbox and one on PlayStation 2. But... That being said, we're, we are long overdue for a Superman game. Um, and I think with the next generation consoles, uh, that could very well be a possibility that a Superman game comes sooner rather than later. So that's it. Those are my predictions for DC Fandom. We will know in less than 24 hours uh, exactly uh, which of those predictions are true and which ones are not. I am so excited for DC fandom. I cannot say that enough. I think a lot of you are excited as well. I think uh, Warner Bros. has done a fantastic job convincing all of you that this is an event we're checking out. Um, and I will probably be up for the full 24 hours. Uh, really, I, I got my uh, Starbucks gift card and I plan on using the whole thing uh, tomorrow.